I wouldn't waste your energy. He's made his feelings perfectly clear. He's telling me I thought it was my mate. <laughs> Don't let it bother you. I thought it'd come round. Now he's had time to think. Well, he's not changed in 19 years, so I can't see him starting now. Am I worth all the aggro? Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing and it feels wonderful. I'd risk her running with Bob for a bit of her. Yeah, that's because you're not a father. Why, what would you do if it was your Victoria? I'd keep her away from lads like you. You're joking. Parents love me. It's the innocent smile. Oh, well, I'll take your word for it. Now, uh, can I interest you in some work? I mean, I saw your card in the post office. Yeah, it's probably me in the right direction. Well, it's a Reynolds old place. I mean, nothing major. A bit of woodwork to fix, lick of paint, that sort of thing. Yeah, I'll have a look at it today. Work out a price. Well, I'm going up there now. I'll run you up if you like. Gives a minute. I'll just grab me stuff. OK. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, unemployment certainly has its benefits. For you, maybe. Oh, listen, why don't you go and speak to my mum? I wouldn't give her the satisfaction. Well, all right, then. What about charity? She's got plenty of businesses. Yeah, and enough problems of her own. I'm in the way as it is. Oh, well, you can always move back in here with me and we can come to some sort of arrangement over the rent. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Hey, guess he's been asked to quote for a work at Angie's old place. Go on, then, surprise us. Sydney Wolf, a building contractor. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> he's a notebook, anyway. Isn't that a bit, you know, creepy? Well, it's a job, isn't it? Can't afford to be sentimental. I'm not being evasive. So why won't you tell me where he is? Wherever it starts, none of your business. It may have escaped your notice, but Bob and I are in the middle of a family crisis. He stopped being your family a long time ago. Oh, Bob, when did you get back? Have we got any sprinklers? You know that you put on top of a cake? Next to the raisins. I was wondering if there was somewhere more private we could talk. Oh, so you can bully him into doing your dirty work? I don't think so. Bob? What, are you going to tell me that you've had a chat with Dawn and that she's come to her senses? Or that Terry's had a sudden crisis of conscience? Then I have heard it all before. Now, if you don't mind, I'm busy. What are you doing? Making a fresh start. Here you go. Oh, thank you. That's going straight into my fighting fund. You what? My fighting fund. Whenever I've got a few spare quid, I stick it in. <laughs> what for? Future. Never know when Mr Wright's going to pop up. Oh, so how much have you got? <sighs> enough. Well, to be honest, I've had enough for ages. So you sat waiting for him to turn up round here? I'll go clubbing. Well, see if I can bump into him. It's a start, I suppose. Mm. Haven't been since... Well, last time. Seth was worried sick. You are entitled to have some fun. I know, but don't like to worry him. You could come with me. Oh, I could, could I? Well, I know you're probably booked up, but it'd be great, and you're bound to attract more men than me. Oh. Well, you get used to it. Mmm. <sighs> you know, I can't help but feel a bit compromised having them staying at the B&B. Well, there's nothing you can do about it, Alan. It's their decision. Yes, I know, but... Oh, they're old enough to look after themselves. Yeah, but I understand what it's like to be a parent in these disputes. No prizes for guessing what you two are golfing at. <laughs> no, 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 I assure you... I'll keep your knickers on, Alan, I believe you. Pity I can't say the same about him. Well, I've always had an eye for beauty. Aye, a wandering one. And right now, it's fixed on Mill Cottage. Yeah, I must say, I'd be sad to see you leave the B&B. &B. But you're a lot more reliable than some. Reliable him? Hey! Sorry about the wait. I have to go and see Edna. She's not satisfied until I've complimented her flowers at least a dozen times. That's all right. Uh, I wanted to introduce you to Dawn. Dawn, I... so much about me. Been looking forward to meeting you. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't apologise. Uh, I realise things must be um, awkward for you at the moment. Yeah, uh, which is why we want to prove how serious we are. Which is presumably why you're here. You guessed it. <laughs> I am a vicar. This is a church. Yeah, we'd like to set a date as soon as possible. Any particular reason? Shut my so-called parents up for one thing. 
Uh, they're only acting out of concern. I I'd do the same if it were Gabby. They're not in a position to moralise. Nevertheless, it is a big step. It, it, it shouldn't be a, a reaction to their objections. It's what we both want. Uh, I mean, one way or the other, we're, uh, we're going to get married. Very well. Um, we do run some marriage classes, which I recommend to um, all couples. We'll do whatever it takes. It's not a game, and I do love him. We have run out of bacon. Sausages will take about ten minutes, and the quiche is off. I'll have a cheese sandwich and a cup of tea, then. Yeah, and I'll have whatever he's having, if that's not too much trouble. Go and sit down. I'll bring it over. Mum, have you got a minute? What does it look like? It looks like you could do with a hand. Fill these with cheese. You can't carry on like this. I'm sure that if you ask Chloe... Then she, she has been sacked, and that is the end to it. I thought she'd walked out. Is that what she told you? You want to be careful about the type of girl you get involved with, again. Oh, I see. But it's all right for Terry and Dawn, is it? They can do what they like. They are not my responsibility. Neither am I. Oh. I don't know if you'd noticed, but I'm old enough to make my own decisions. I am not taking her back, and that is that. Right. Fill your own bucks, then. <sighs> well, you've got to have done it now. Put him down. You don't know where he's been. That's right. Laugh like the rest of them. Some put a smile off his face. Hey, 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 I was joking. You don't have to justify yourself to me, Terry. Or to any other village, for that matter. Sorry, I just don't feel like that sometimes. Yeah, well, I think you're a very lucky man. Oh, we should stop ringing. Maybe you should speak to him. You've changed the tune. Well, he's going to find out that we set the day sooner or later. May as well get it over with. Or come with you. No, I don't want you two arguing again. I'll do it on my own. Dawn! Yeah? Well, I've been ringing. I just wanted to talk. You will? Oh, fantastic. Right, I'll wait till the calf. OK, bye. Well? Right, she's on her way. Uh, I need fizzy pop, quick. What are you playing at? I'm just trying to break the ice. With pop? I'd stick a large vodka in there if I were you. Well, at least he's trying. Oh, I didn't realise this was going to be a delegation. Yeah, I thought we could talk upstairs. In private. Just give me a minute, OK? OK. I don't think we want to go to that much trouble. There's a lot of, like, hidden problems. Neither of you seen Terry. I wanted to catch him before he started work tomorrow. Well, he was round here earlier, but I think he's got other things on his mind. Yeah, oh, and the rest. That girl he brought back with him is pretty full on. Gotta hand it to him. Never takes the easy option. <laughs> uh, he's been working for you for too long. Was that a resignation? Good. Any news on the Reynolds old place? <sighs> We've just come from there. Been getting Sid to price up the work. And? He reckons there's more to it than meets the eye. Oh, so would I. If I was after every penny I could get. I'm not lying. The windows need replacing for a start. Funny that. Clough building thought we could get away with splicing the rotten wood. Yeah, but that's only going to delay the inevitable. Which is exactly what I intend to do. <sighs> You're the boss. Exactly. Oh, and uh, don't forget to tell Terry that when you see him. So there's no point in telling you the gutters are knackered then, I suppose. The rent's on its way. I mean, it is why you're stalking me, isn't it? I think my concern is justified. It is rather a lot of money. So you keep saying. Well, I don't give all my tenants the same leeway. Except when Rodney dips into the brandy. And in. At least they pay their rent on time. Yeah. And I've told you about my London job, haven't I? Now, you'll get your rent at the end of the week like we agreed. Oh, I suppose you're waiting for me to fill that up for you, are you? Huh? Well, you are the one with the job round here. Right, well, I've spoken to my mum about taking you back, but, uh she's digging her heels in. Scott, I walked out, remember? I don't need you fighting me battles for me. I'd rather be broken homeless. Well, like I said, you can always move back in with me. No one that mm. Oh, I need some lubrication. These figures are doing me head in. Oh, you can get me while you're at it. Married? Yeah, March the 18th. You're both invited. You don't think you should wait and do it in style? Oh, we have a quickie weddings these days. That's what we both want. 
Still, I suppose it's an excuse to get a new frock. What do you think, Louise? Yeah, as long as you're sure about this. We are. Good, then. Congratulations. Oh, Ashley, let me get you a drink. Oh, thank you. Terry's just been telling us the good news. Yeah, I want to thank you. It means a lot to both of us. And where is the bride to be? She's telling Bob about the wedding. Say something then. You've done all this for me. Took me all morning. Why? I wanted to catch up on all the time that I've missed since I left. Start again. From where? What do you think? <laughs> Fifth birthday party. I remember I was so excited. You were going to be the clown. Mm. <laughs> I told all my friends how funny my dad was. I had a whole act works out, you know. Juggling. Magic. And a big finale. <sighs> Bigger than that, but I uh, couldn't find an elephant. Oh, you'd really gone to that much trouble. I wanted it to be the best party you'd ever seen. Let's get stuck in then. <laughs> Oh, no! The jelly's not quite set. Oh, it's best way. You can suck it through your teeth and sound like... Hannibal, Hannibal Lecter! Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Game's next. What's inside? Oh, only the best for my little girl. I'm not, am I? Don't turn back the clock. Oh, I wish I could. Why? What would you change? Well, I'll uh, be a better dad for a start, you know. I mean, maybe if I'd been there, who knows? What? Well... You might have taken my advice when I offer it. You mean Terry? Yeah, I'm just trying to protect you, love. Why can't you try and be pleased for me? I've never been so happy as I am with Terry, and we're getting married in a few weeks. That's what this party's all about, isn't it? Think a few sausages on sticks and some strawberry jelly means you can interfere. You can't even speak to me. How can you be a father if you don't understand? Terry and I come as a package now, and you don't get one without the other. Dawn. Dawn, look, I didn't mean. I... Here, get you another. Oh, for a minute there, I thought someone was being nice to me. Well, if you're not interested. No, no, go on, go on. Dan, get two pints, please. So, how's things on your own now? <sighs> Harder than I thought. I've just been up at Axton's. Have you seen where they charge for timber? I'm going to stay away from that place, pal. You know, a bunch of con artists. I'll get my timber straight from Mill now. Really? A pint, please, Diane. Hey, uh, let me know if you need to have another look around. No, I've seen enough, thanks. Cheers. What's this? Just a small job at home farm. Much timber involved, is it? I haven't seen Terry this happy for ages. Yeah. Hope he knows what he's doing. Not too keen on the wedding plans, I take it. He's big enough to live with his own mistakes. I would have thought you'd be pleased he's moved on. Yeah, well, is that why he made a pass at me before he went away? And what did you do? What do you think? Oh, there you go. He's obviously got the message. <laughs> What price? What happened? Let's just say we'll be looking for someone else to give me away. I warned you, didn't I? Everything was going all right until she's... Until what? They've set a date to get married. I wonder where she got that idea from. I know. If I'd have been there, it might have all been Don't a bit different. Don't blame yourself. Dawn's got two parents. And I was there for her. And Jamie. And is that why Bob had to come out and sort your mess out? <gasps> That's enough. I, I know you're just trying to be protective, Viv, but I have to take part of the blame. I could have done more. We both could. Now, this is down to me. She's making a massive mistake. I, I've just got to try and make her see it. Where are you going? To work. I'm trying to see if I can't come up with something. I'll wait here. There you go. Thanks. Well, you can get that sort of treatment all the time if you were. You don't give up, do you? <laughs> what about Sid? 
Look, if you're worried about him, I can kick him out. I mean, will he mind? Well, how can he? Are you sure? Well, I'll ask him. But if he says yes, you want for it? You all right, pet? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's some barrels need shifting. Do you mind if I... No, you go ahead. We'll manage. Can't even bring himself to speak to me. I'm sorry it's got to be like this. I'm not. It's you and me that matters now. Life in the old dog yet, eh? Yeah, she's certainly worth fighting for. It's cool. I'm here, remember? Um, it's more to a relationship than a pretty face. Aye. Right. That's what we said for experience. Yeah, something you've not had much of lately. Plans. Don't make me go back in there, please, Dan. I can't face it. Hiding away won't help. This isn't going to go away. No, but I can pretend that it's not happening. Can you? I don't know. What would you do if it was Bernice? Learn from the past. You're forgetting I tried to interfere with her and Carlos. Look where that got me. This place was meant to be for both of us. Have you got any bright ideas, then? Don't force her away. If you make her choose, you lose out. I've already done that. Well, change your approach. Girls love the dads despite anything. Give her the chance to show you. Put up with her mistakes. If you have to, yes. At least then she'll know you're there to pick up the pieces. Do I have to start tonight? No, you go home. Me and Louise will manage. I I'm not going back there if Jean's still there. The, the last thing I need is more blame. Well, go for a walk or something. But think about what I've said. The more you object, the worse it'll be in the end. I can't believe Max sniffing after Nicola. Well, he must be winding us up. You went out with her. Ah, ah, yeah, but that's different. I mean, she chased me, didn't she? Hey, yeah, yeah, this is just like old times. Uh, now, I've been meaning to speak to you about that, actually. Go on. Sounds ominous. Well, no, it's just that uh, I've asked Chloe to move back in again and she was worried that you might be bothered about him. Scott? Hmm? I thought it'd be polite to ask. Yeah, whatever. Well? well there's no skin off my nose, mate. Good. Well, welcome home. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> i get the wine. Mm. And uh, don't be getting any ideas, mate. Huh? You go anywhere near her again and I'll kill you. Oh, spare me any more of this garbage. You'll be asking me what I'm doing in a place like this next. Well, I could think of more intimate surroundings. Like a candlelit table in the corner of an exclusive restaurant. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. See, my dad's sculpt off again as usual. I've given him the night off. Might give him a chance to cool off. Oh, Terry, Chris is after you. Oh, damn, I said I'd go and see him. Well, you go. I'll be fine here. You sure? I can look after myself. Don't I just know it? You're not surprising me with any of these revelations. Bob and I have no secrets. That's what I used to think. I can't believe how naive I was back then. It's not how Bob described it. So are you telling me he always tells the truth? Well, there have been one or two minor hiccups. He used to disappear on me for days. God knows where he went. Oof. I always thought he had another family on the side. Bob, the bigamist, I used to think the same. And my so-called friend, Carol, she wound me up so much, I ended up following him one day. And what did you find? That he was living in his car. <laughs> <laughs> That's Bob, all right. You never know what he'll get up to next. You know, I thought he was at it, but all the time he was pumping up his lilo. I wonder when you turn up, here you bought more than a straw donkey back from Spain. News travels fast round here. Know what the village is like for gossip. How's Bob taking it? He won't have out to do with either of us. Or well, what do you expect? Happy families? Well, I'd hope that he'd see how much I care for her. He's your friend. He knows all about your past failures. Yeah, well, this is different. I can't help how I feel. I love her. Nothing else seems to matter. Sounds serious. Enough to set a date. 
You don't do anything by halves, do you? It's what we both want. I thought I had it bad having the Dingles as in-laws. It's nothing compared to Viv. <laughs> I had hoped that you'd understand. Doesn't stop it being funny. Thanks for the support, mate. Now, you might as well get used to it. You go ahead with this, that'll be worse. I should know. Yeah, but you stuck to your guns. Do you ever regret it? What, marrying charity? Every time the Dingles think they can walk all over me. Seriously? No, I mean, we have our ups and downs, but no. She's worth every ounce of trouble. That's how I feel about Dawn. Well, that's all that matters. Excuse me. Oh, I, I, I really don't think this is the right time. When is? She's always with Terry. Yeah, I know that. Look, I, I really need to talk to her, Alan. Please. Very well, but I shall be here, and if you upset her... Thank you. You won't change my mind. I've not come here for that. To be honest, I'm trying to avoid your mum. I suppose you've told her then? I didn't have much choice, did I? So I've lost both my parents in one day. Well, not if I can help it. Meaning? But we all say stupid things. We all really just want to do the right thing. I just wanted to show you how far I was prepared to go to get another chance. Till you heard about the wedding. That shut you up. Yeah, well, it was a shock. Come on, Dawn, what would you have done? I accepted it like I have the last three times you've done it. Yeah, I suppose I owe you that one. <laughs> yeah, and a lot more besides. So let me try and make it up to you. Depends on your motives. All I want to do is be a proper dad. If you're staying in the village, then it seems like the ideal time. You won't stop me marrying Terry. If that's what you want to do. It is. Then I'll do my best to be there for you. <laughs> 